Hey kids, a fan man coming at you on the 20th of June 2019 with a video related to Stranger Things. I don't think I've ever really talked about Stranger Things much on the channel here. I'm a big fan. The problem is for me that I have not really ever gotten any of the uh, merchandise related to the um, the show or any of the comic books or I, I'm not even sure if there are novels or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, I've mainly just enjoyed the show. I've looked at the action figures pretty hard and the Mezco and the McFarlane stuff and uh, I can't justify the McFarlane. I mean they might as well just be statues made of plastic you know and, and that doesn't really appeal to me. I like articulation um, on the figures. Like to be able to move them around. That's what she said. I don't know what that means. Um, but, but with the Mezco, I do kind of like the little vintage looking figures. The, the ones that you get like, I think two or three, a, uh, in a pack and you get, you get the whole crew. And I don't know if they ever made a, a Demogorgon in that's in that size, but I'm sure they did. Uh, so those, maybe if they go down in, in price, maybe I can snatch them. Uh, because I, the last time I looked, they were pretty high on the aftermarket, so they'd have to go down. Uh, I'd love to see NECA get them, because you know NECA would do some amazing stuff with those. The accessories, the sculpting, the details, the articulation would be off the hizzy. Anybody still saying that in 2019? Just the old fan, man. But what I have here is my first, these are my first Stranger Things collectibles. And, uh... And, and the other reason that I got this was simply nostalgia and the just for me the, the gimmick factor was too hard to pass up. Even though I said on a stream that we did, um, maybe an episode of Fan Man tonight, I said no, I'm not going to do it and then I did it anyway. So these boxes came in the, in the post yesterday. Yes, let's talk as if we're from the United Kingdom, yes. These came in the post yesterday. Yes, I didn't believe they were scheduled to arrive yesterday, but there they were in the post. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and turn over the first box and give you a look at what we're talking about here, kids. There you go. Let me move this for you. Coca-Cola, One Summer Can Change Everything, a Netflix original series, Stranger Things. And uh, I love everything I've seen about Stranger Things Season 3. I love the mall setting. As a child of the 80s, it has been really hard to watch what's happening to malls and so I've been thinking about that a lot for the last couple of years I've gone to some local malls and I watched the excellent dead mall series uh, which is produced uh, by Dan Bell if you've never checked out his channel this is Dan Bell go check it out he goes to a lot of sad it's heartbreaking but it's also very cool to see what's happened to a lot of these malls um, some of them look like ancient uh, uh, temples that have been abandoned for you know centuries in the the wilds of some rainforest and I don't know if that's more sad than the ones that have two or three shops and it's still open and it's just abandoned and it looks like a time capsule and that I don't know which one is sadder but that's the state of malls here we have these commemorative items from the folks over at coca-cola in particular an item that again the main reason that i bought this is the nostalgia factor as i said so i'm going to get to those uh i actually don't know which is in what's in what box judging by the weight yeah 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 this is i'm going to show you that second okay so the first the, the way this deal works as i understand it was that you buy you get some stranger things labeled um merch from star from star wars god why would i think of that nightmare from some from uh, stranger things and coke so that's the first part of this of this tie-in and uh yeah 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 you can't cut right there can you uh uh here we go kids i'm not very good at cutting um things i don't know i don't know why that is by the way top of the box you got the coca-cola logo you've got what we've seen uh already and then some shipping oh look you've also got some uh, nutritional facts. I try not to pay attention to those <laughs> because I don't really drink. And, and to be honest, I don't drink soft drinks very often. When I do, though, I drink Coke Zero, and I do that uh, uh, sparingly just because it's, it's not that great for you, to be honest, but every once in a while you need something other than water. I like this. This is a, uh, this is a very neat accoutrement here that they have put in here for the purposes of packing. It looks like a sand castle or, or a castle made by 
by mud daubers. Leave us alone, or we'll kill you. I don't know. I don't know why they talk like that. But look, there's even there's even the entrances to each of the uh, the, the the towers. This is this is cool. That's that's and it of course serves a practical purpose. Let's reach in and see what it's protecting. Ah, original taste Coca Cola, which uh, they have to mention because and that'll be made clear in a second. And then a Netflix original series, Stranger Things, limited edition. This is 14.321 of 175,000. Oh, so that's a comma. I'm sorry. 14,321, etc. So that's a, that's just your, our good friend, uh, original taste Coke. Let's be clear that the, oh, the nutritional information is not on the bottle, okay, because it's a collectible. So that's why it's on the side. How much sugar is in a regular Coke these days? Do I want to know? Because, oh, 26 grams of carbohydrates from the sugar. 26 grams of sugar. Yeah, if I'm going to get my carbs these days, it's not going to be from a soft drink. It's going to be from pizza or a burger. And I do that sparingly too. Here's my good friend Coke Zero Sugar. I like the label here. I like the logo. And uh, Stranger Things again. So this is labeled. Will not open these very likely. Um, they will actually join another Coke collectible that I have on a shelf over there. It's not really a collectible, probably, but when they changed the recipe on Coke Zero and then renamed it Coke Zero Sugar, which is like calling, uh, hey, we're going to rename our Dasani water. Now on, From now on, we'll call it Dasani Wet Water. It's a little redundant. We already knew this didn't have sugar, dumbasses. That's why we were drinking it. I'm sorry, Coca-Cola. I mean, yeah, I apologize for calling you bad names. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to put that because I kept a can of the original Coke Zero. I have it over there, unopened. And, and thousands of years, someone will find the wreckage of my home, and they will find that in there, and they will wonder, what is this strange concoction and perhaps they'll bring back the original coke zero flavor then i just won't be alive to uh, to know that it happened or will i all right and then in the uh in the box here oh we've got uh, some more of those cool little things here now oh i uh oh ho, ho, that's right you get here you see uh cans of new coke and this okay let me just briefly give you an idea if you're perhaps young too young you may not be aware of what we're talking about here, kids. Back in 85, I think it was 85, pretty sure, Coke decided that, hey, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take Coke, and they were in a, in a really heated competition with Pepsi, which I've never understood that competition, because Pepsi's terrible. Ugh, I'd rather drink um, uh, Lena Dunham's bath water. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's horrible. I don't think I would actually do that, but it, it would be close. But anyway, uh, so they said, hey, let's come out with a new Coke. And here's the new Coke, you see. And this was the can. This is just like it was. And it turns out many people thought, oh, the, the, this was just a stupid uh, thing on their part. They went crazy for a while and decided, hey, we're going to change everything. Nope. It was a marketing ploy, and it succeeded. And still to this day, 30 years-ish later, uh, Coke is still outselling Pepsi. I don't know by the margin. But that's what I've been told, and that is what I, from what I understand, that's why they did this new Coke thing. So you get a can of new Coke, you get one of those, and uh, you get two of those, you see. Now, um, two cans of new Coke, Stranger Thing logo, you saw it there. It says, uh, enjoy this limited edition 1985 can in celebration of Stranger Things 3. Okay, so now, I, I'm confused. I'm going to put this here by the bottles, and we're going to look at the other box. By the way, if you wanted to know, the inside of the box here has that another castle-like thing here. But, oh, it's, it's two warring castles. You could have two warring civilizations, you see. You have mud daubers who prefer the, this style of uh, castle architecture, and then those that prefer this. And, oh, you know how it is with human beings, or even, even mud daubers. We easily go to war over small things like, uh, you know, geography and and uh, something like uh, how a thing is designed I'm sure it's happened before <clears throat> let's look is it is it in see I I couldn't uh, I was under the impression that that this was two separate things because when I went to order this you you had to order it one you know a certain way and I I thought that uh, oh this is uh, oh no it's not open so is this the exact same thing I didn't realize I, I was ordering two of these which is not to say I necessarily wouldn't have wanted two of these, uh, but it is to say that I'm surprised that you, because I didn't see an option for choosing how many. 
So I just assumed that, oh no, this, 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 uh, I think it's the same thing. It is, yes. Yeah. So let's, let's pretend we didn't watch the other part of this video, but it's the same thing. And I do like the black and red. I, I love the Stranger Things logo. I think everybody does. Uh, and, and then look, new Coke. So uh, fascinating, I think. And and here's what's going to happen. Since I've got four cans, I thought it was only two. Since I've got four cans of Coke, new Coke here, uh, what I'm going to do, kids, as well as these... Now, these commemorative bottles, no, I'm not going to open these. But that's the old, uh, uh, I'm guessing, original taste. Is this what the logo looked like after they brought back Coke? Um, hmm, does it say anything about that? No, it just says, hey, good luck finding... Uh, uh, good luck finding the nutritional info. That, yeah, I guess that was the original Coke Classic logo. Or no, maybe this was, I don't know. I don't know. Because why would it say original taste if it was pre-new Coke? There was only one Coke flavor. And my beloved Coke Zero. So, I think, kids, what I'm going to do is this. I am going to take these, these cans of, uh, let's put this around uh, over here. Oh, look, it's my Batman Snuggie and a mess of a floor there. But look, let's look at these again, shall we? So we've got, we've got these cans of new Coke. Here's what I'm going to do. I, you know what, I didn't know I was getting four of them. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and uh, I'm gonna taste them. Oh, Lord, Superman fell. Gosh, sorry, Superman. Uh, I am gonna taste one of these because even though they're commemorative, I have four of them. I enjoy this limited edition 1985 can in celebration of Stranger Things 3. Yes, yes, yes. So I am going to put one of these in the refrigerator and then in a second video tell you how how new Coke stacks up to, uh, you know, my memories of it. I can tell you right now my memories of new Coke were pretty terrible because I thought, why in the hell did they change Coke? As a kid, pre-caring about all the pure sugar I was putting into my body, I was drinking Coke it was just crazy how much we drank as kids. And when this came out, we were just like, oh, you don't, there's no more Coke. You have to get the new Coke. And then, bleh, it was pretty bad. I remember my memory of it is that it tastes a lot. Uh, it tastes a lot like what Diet Coke tastes like now, ex except I think this had less formaldehyde. <laughs> That's right. It didn't quite taste like you were drinking embalming fluid, which is what I think Diet Coke tastes like now. Ugh, God, I hate it. Um... But, yeah, now, see, the thing that frustrates me, kids, is that the Coke Zero, the original flavor, tastes more to me like actual Coke does, and is yet, thankfully, not possessed of the same sugar content. Um, but no, we gotta change, we, we, let's change it and make it taste more like Diet Coke. I don't know what the hell they were thinking there. Come on, Coke. But anyway, so I'm gonna put one of these in the fridge, and uh, I am going to uh, do a little taste there, kids, and let you know how that uh, goes. I'm very glad they put these in cans, and I'll tell you why. I prefer soft drinks in cans. When I go to a convenience store, if they have, you know, they always have those 20 ounce bottles. First of all, I don't want to drink 20 ounces of, of a beverage, generally. If it's water, yes, but usually it gets warm. I don't drink it that fast. I don't drink soft drinks that often. I go for a can, though. It's not uh, 20 ounces, and I feel that it stays colder, and maybe it's just psychological. I find it tastes better somehow in a can. I, I don't know why that is, kids, but I do. I think it tastes better in a can, and uh, and I also find the, the same to be true of beer in the reverse. I find that beer in a bottle tastes better than it does in a can. I don't know what kind of chemical magic could be going on here, but there you go. So just giving you a look here. New Coke. Yes, 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 it was new. So I'm going to put one of these, uh, as I said, I'm going to refrigerate one of these, and I will come back and do a video this evening, uh, and, and you will get to see me taste this beverage. And you know what I'll do? While I'm out today, I will get myself a can of the current Coke, uh, and, and I will do a taste comparison, and I wish I, I wish... Now, that's the question, isn't it? When they say that this is original taste Coca-Cola, is this the Coca-Cola pre-New Coke? Or, or would they not admit that the Coke that came after New Coke is, in fact, the same thing as Coke Classic? Because they, they said it's Coke Classic, but then a lot of people were like, that doesn't taste like original Coke. A lot of people were upset, and even when they brought Coca-Cola Classic in, they said, oh, that's not, that's, that's not what the real Coke tasted like. Screw you, Coke. 
And I don't know. I don't know if there's a, some kind of conspiracy. I, I don't know. I don't remember tasting a difference enough to care. I think I was just drinking it again because it was there. In 85, I was nine. So, and pretty chubby. And I needed something to wash down uh, the PB Max, which sadly they don't make anymore. People my age will know what that is. To wash down Twinkies, uh, to wash down any, any fried foods that I would have eaten because God knows I wasn't eating vegetables uh, to wash down pizza uh, while I was playing my Nintendo and while I was playing uh, reading comics and uh, <clears throat> my brother's comics and playing with my various action figures and such. So yeah, I wasn't too discerning is the point there. So I don't know. Should I drink one of these as well or should I just drink the current Cokes? I don't know if I want to open one of these. I I don't I'm gonna research that and see what they claim this is. Do they mean that this is current Coke? In which case I'll just go get a can. Uh, or, do, or do they mean this is what the this is pre new Coke Coke, which would mean the current Coke is not the same as the pre new Coke Coke. This is becoming like talking about DC Comics history. Uh, but so I don't know. I'm gonna look that up. And if this is the original pre new to new Coke Coke, and that is different from current Coke. Then yes, I'll I'll have to open one of these and, and consume it, and then also I'll get a, a can of the regular. Uh, anyway, by the way, do I enjoy the taste of Coke in glass bottles? Of course. I mean, as a kid growing up, we didn't, you know, for probably most of my um, first ten years of life, there were no plastic bottles. That was kind of a novelty. We just went to the to the gas station or where, wherever it was, and we had glass bottles. We had cans at home because my mom didn't want to deal with breaking bottles, which I understand with two children wouldn't want to deal with that either. Uh, but we would occasionally we'd go to a you know a convenience store, a gas station, and you'd have a delicious, refreshing Coke in a glass bottle. Yeah, that tastes much better. I would say this much better, far better uh, than the can taste and certainly much better than the plastic bottle. I think it's leaching plastic right into our bloodstream, man. It's not good. Uh, but there you have it, kids. So that's the Stranger Things collectible set. If you either are on the fence about these, I thought these would sell out in minutes. And I waited about a week after they were, they were announced and uh, they were still available. So if you order them, you will get this. This is what you get. You get a, uh, I'm putting the cans together and not the bottles. I know I'm a madman. Look at that. But you get two cans of new Coke, a can of Coke Zero Sugar, and a Coke, uh, this, whatever Coke this is, we're not sure. Uh, and they both have Stranger Things labeling, making them collectible. And uh, there you have it, kids. Thanks so much for watching. All the usual that I say at the end of a video, please sub if you haven't. Please hit that bell for notifications. Also, check my social media out. It's linked down below. And check out my friends, Professor Geek, Big Al, and Chris Kent, also linked below. Look later on today, this evening, for that video, Taste of New Coke for the first time. And, oh, geez, let's think about this. Uh, I ain't good at math. Let's just do it out, out loud, shall we? Uh, 85 to 95 to 2005 uh, to 2015 is thir 30, holy lord, 35 years ago. So I haven't had this stuff in 35 years. And so I will, uh, I will, I will give that a taste this evening. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Stay super.